Let's multiply 6 times 7,981. And the way we're going to do it right now is just to represent or expand out 7,981 as 7,000, 7,000 plus 900 plus 900 plus 80 plus 80 plus 1 plus 1. And so multiplying 6 times 7,981 is the same thing as multiplying 6 times 7,000 plus 6 times 900 plus 6 times 80 plus 6 times 1. You'd essentially distribute the 6. And to help us keep track of things, let me draw a little grid right over here. So this is the 6. And we're going to have to think about what 6 times 7,000 is, 6 times 900, 6 times 80, and 6 times 1. So I'll make a little square for a rectangle for each of them. Let me do that. So here we go. And so we just need to think about what is 6 times 7,000? Well, 6 times 7 is 42. So 6 times 7,000 is 42,000. 6 times 900, well, once again, 6 times 9 is 54. So 6 times 900 is 5,400. 6 times 80, well, 80 is 8 tens. So 6 times 8 is 48. But since it's 6 times 80 or 8 tens, this is going to be 48 tens, or 480. And then finally, 6 times 1, of course, is equal to, is equal to 6. So to find what this product is, we just have to take the sum of each of these numbers. What 6 times 7,000 is plus 6 times 900 plus 6 times 80 plus 6 times 1. So let's do that right over here. So it's going to be 42,000 plus 5,400 plus 480, 480, plus 6, plus 6. And we get, let's see, in the ones place, we had just have a 6. In the tens place, we just have an 8. In the hundreds place, 4 plus 4 is 8. In the thousands place, 2 plus 5 is 7. And then finally, in the ten thousands place, we still have a 4. So we get 47,886. So this is equal to 47,000. 886. And what I encourage you to do is to think about how this, this is really underlying what we're doing here. It's not that different than what you might have done with the traditional multiplication techniques. And this is a useful way of thinking about it because now you really understand what's going on. And actually, when you start doing things like this in your head, at least for, for myself, this is actually how I try to tackle the multiplication problem. If someone says 6 times 7,981, if I was just looking at this and I didn't have any paper, I would say, OK, what's 6 times 7,000? I'd say, okay, that's 42,000. I'll try to remember that. What's 6 times 900? Well, that's 5,400. Well, if I add that to the 42,000, I get 47,400. Then what's 6 times 8? 480. have to add that to the 47,400 to get to 47,880. And then what's 6 times 1? Well, that's 6. We'll add that to the 47,880, which I've been keeping in my brain. And that's going to be 47,886. So this helps you understand what's really going on when you multiply multiple digits. And it's a useful technique for doing mental multiplication.